Hey guys, this is Booligan with Airsoft Retreat, BooliganAirsoft.com and Airsoft Insider Magazine. Today we're going to take a quick look at a real steel product that I feel has a place in the airsoft market. This is the Lucid HD7 Red Dot Sight. This optic is priced MSRP about 260 bucks. However, most of the time I have found it for sale around $189 on sites like Amazon, uh, Optics Planet, so on and so forth. This is a real steel optic. However, the price makes it accessible for upper end airsoft users, people who are running, you know, their their eight or nine hundred off Polar Start guns, uh, Sistema PTWs, and uh, I especially think it is going to be useful for people using recoil guns, either gas blowback rifles or recoil AEGs. One of the problems with airsoft optics is they are cheap. Most of the time, they're inexpensive, coming in you know 50, 60 bucks, but their construction is not designed for anything with any sort of recoil. On gas blowback rifles, I have killed more than my fair share of cheap China-made optics. This little guy is designed in the US. It is manufactured overseas. However, it is designed for real steel use and is designed for recoil forces up to a 458 SOCOM round. You will not break this thing with an airsoft gun. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at some of the features, how this thing works, and uh, if this might be the right optic for you. Okay, let's take a closer look at some of the features of the Lucid HD7. First off, you have a rubberized protectant uh, installed over the body of the scope itself. Um, the actual scope is full metal. It's got this large integrated full metal mounting block, which you use to attach it to your gun. One of the features I love about this is it uses a single AAA battery, which is installed here. The cap is tethered with a steel wire. You're not going to lose that cap. Yeah, single AAA battery. The thing lasts for a very, very long time. I've been using this pretty much constantly over the last, um, you know, week and a half, last two weeks, and I haven't had any issues with the battery life coming down. Now, this is a, um, it's an automatic adjusting optic. You have a button right here which you use to turn it on. And when you push it once, it'll turn on automatic mode. If you push it again, it'll go into manual mode, and that's what these two arrow buttons are for to manually adjust your uh, reticle brightness. To turn it off, push and hold for about four seconds, and the optic will turn off. Some of the controls that you will notice on the optic, you have, of course, uh, windage and elevation knobs. They are recessed under these covers. Uh, I wish the covers were tethered, um, but just, you know, make sure to hold on to them. Flathead adjustable, there's a good solid click with each adjustment point. You'll notice this little guy right here. This is your sensor for your automatic brightness adjustment. And it works very well, I'll demonstrate that in a bit. This knob controls your reticles. You have four different reticles. And how this works so that you don't lose zero, the reticle is actually a cover, basically. It's a cover over an LED, so the LED itself doesn't move, only the cover does. So according to their literature for Lucid, you do not have to re-zero this if you change the, um, if you change the, what your aiming point is going to be. And they are designed for real steel use, obviously. Um, the different reticles are set up for bullet drop with a 5.56 round. Not going to be terribly useful in airsoft, however, just pick the one that you like the most and stick with it. That's what's worked for me. You have a solid mounting block here on the bottom with two large cross uh, nuts for the cross bolts. Um, you, you can secure this on, the, on your gun. It's not going anywhere. That's not going to be a problem. You have a ruby coated lens up front um, and a clear, uh, very minimal glare lens at the back. Okay, we're going to do a very quick reticle test here. It is a parallax free reticle, so regardless of where it is in the optic itself, it will be aiming at your target. It's currently set on automatic brightness mode, cover up the sensor, makes it darker, perfect for low light use. When you get into high light, it, um, it will get brighter, obviously. The different reticles, you've got this, which is round with a dot in the middle, and I'll put up the MOA readings on the side of this video. You have that, which is designed for a bullet drop. Also bullet drop, and again, the MOA readings will be on this, and a single basic point. My preferred is that unit. Looking through, you do have a slight shadow on the side you can see of the LED emitter. However, if you get your eye up close, up 
close to the optic, that's not going to be a problem. We've taken a look at some of the features. We've looked at how the uh, different uh, reticles work. The, it is a tall optic. You can see it's located pretty high. However, it does allow you to do bottom one-third co-witness. And since it's parallax-free, you can aim through your um, iron sights as well as through the optic with no issues whatsoever. I think this is a fantastic optic for users who shoot real steel, but who are also looking for an optic they can use on their airsoft gun. Alternatively, if you have a high recoil airsoft gun, something like a gas blowback rifle, or a uh, one of the like a bolt stop mod or an M4 recoil shock, a Tokyo Marui, you can break optics with those. I've seen it happen myself. Something like this will basically run forever and never break on you. And if it does, Lucid has a fantastic warranty, and they're located in the U.S., so it's easy to get customer support from them. So overall, I really like this optic. I think it'll do fantastic for real steel shooting. Obviously, it'll do well for airsoft. The price may be a little high for some, but honestly, if you're spending you know five six hundred dollars on your AEG, another hundred eighty bucks on an optic that you can share with your real steel gun that pretty much everyone has will do nicely. So overall, I give it a big thumbs up. All right, we've seen how this thing works, how it functions, some of its pros and cons. Just want to say big thanks to Lucid for sending this over so we can review it here on uh, my YouTube channel and, of course, on BooliganAirsoft.com. Be sure to check out all of my reviews. Of course, Airsoft Retreat, BooliganAirsoft.com. Be sure to pick up episode or issue two of Airsoft Insider Magazine, which is currently on shelves. And as always, thanks for watching.